Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode five of our 16th season here at RFC Liège. And my God, have we got some stuff to go through. Let's get into it. Right then, I, I do not even know where to start unpacking all of this stuff. But um, let's start with the, probably the biggest development. And this is in relation to our finances and relation to our playing staff. So you will see on the right of the screen there that uh, we have quite a lot of money in the bank. And you think, well, how the heck has that happened? Because we did, we actually, at the end of last year, uh, or end of last episode, we had about 2 million or maybe 1.5 million um, in the bank due to the, the, the club putting some money in. But how the heck have we ended up with 9 million? Well, there is a reason for that. The, the reason we've got three, three and a half million in our transfer budget is because we have made some transfers some players have come in some players have gone out one player has gone out particularly which you might be surprised about uh, but i think it was the right decision i, I didn't have a choice but it, i think it was the right decision right so and you can sort of see here what has happened so there was three transfers out um there was a a young lad who was not going to get anywhere jean francois lagabi who a really complicated spelling of his name really not a very good player um you need you need to be able to cross the ball to be a winger so we let him go we had a very nicely <laughs> nice nice named club that uh signed him up i'm not going to try and pronounce that because it's just rude is what it is um thierry has gone off uh on loan to uh Cannes, and that's because he was just causing trouble but so we've actually getting a bit of money from that but you'll see between those two Norfolk Nana has gone to China for 9.5 million pounds it hit his release clause yeah I'm mean, he's a great player and obviously we are going to miss him uh, and obviously he's been a big important part of the, us staying in this division so but it does mean we have a bit of room to spend some money and we did spend some money and you can see we bought in two players um for a little less than a million this this guy probably i've overspent but he is he is playing at upen and i think he is a decent player so you can see here i'm i'm pretty pleased with this this is an area we we are slightly weak that just behind the the forward and this guy for the money we paid i think is pretty good um He's, we, we, we're playing him as an advanced playmaker, so you need him to have good passing, good technique, good vision, those sort of things. And he has all of those, particularly that technique of 18. So he's going to be able to do things, the really difficult things, really well. Um, and first touch as well, which is which is really good. So that's nice because uh, some of the first touches we've seen from our players have not been great physically. You know, he's a, he's a solid specimen uh, across the board. You know, reasonable height. He's, he's not going to be um, dominating in the in the air, but he's got a good jumping reach, and, and you know, he's a reasonable header. So the, he's a, he's quite a quality player. He's, he's only wants to be a squad player, but he's pretty much played most games. And you can see, played nine games, scored two goals, one assist. That is not bad, really, for our level. I think that's pretty good. He um, obviously played for Upen. Average rating a little better for them, but um, I'm pretty pleased with that. He's um, come through PSG's ranks, so that's kind of, you know, you can see the quality there, but pretty happy with that. A good, solid signing. And then obviously with Nana leaving, we were a bit short on the right side, so what I did was bring Uan, Uan Julan uh, in, who is, he's not as good as Nana, but he certainly is a decent player, a lot going on there he's got he's got attributes um in all the right areas things that you'd want to see work right again a little bit low and that's the case for a few of our players unfortunately but you know good composure good decisions um he's quick and uh he can cross and run with the ball it's what you want isn't it for a for a winger so uh, he, he's played a few games for us and you can see nine games played, two goals, three assists. That's pretty good. It's a 6.9 average rating. So I think it's a pretty good replacement for uh, uh, for Nana. And it's certainly our biggest transfer window to uh, ever. So that, that's that's super cool. But that's a lot of money 
a lot of money coming out there. And what it has allowed us to do is to do a few things in the club. So I am able now to do my final coaches course. So that's, I'm, 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 I'm currently doing that. And we were also able to improve our youth facilities. So that gets us up, I think, what we on average now. So I think that goes to good, perhaps. So that's really good. Um, and so, and that, that's that's really nice. So we're we're in a we're in a good place now. And in terms of results, um, we've been unlucky, I think, but we've done what we needed to do over and we've played a lot of games since the game against Upen. it's not been anywhere near as good as that run and that was the really helpful period but we've had some tough games in there playing a lot of the top sides we've got some wins though which is the all important thing let's run through those results so first one was an away game against standard we didn't feel we had much hope here and as you can see we we were well beaten and lost 3-0 can't complain Kotrick, they are second in the league, doing really well. This was a great performance, and perhaps we could have got something more out of it. But a one, a nil-nil draw is a good point against a very good side. Then we played STVV. This was frustrating because they had a player sent off, and we played really well and just couldn't couldn't convert our chances. They scored a couple of goals in within ten minutes of each other, and yeah, put them out of sight. And we got a consolation goal from Otto, but. It, yeah, I was frustrated with that. Followed that up with a uh, a loss against, at home against OHL. I expected a little bit more here. Goal from Van Herk. We were one all and conceded a late penalty. We seem to have conceded a few penalties recently, which is frustrating. Yet, to, I don't know if we've had actually had a penalty this season apart from in that penalty shootout. Um, then this was a cracking result away against Club Bruges Van Herk with a goal pleased with that and followed that up with an magically crazy game against uh, Genk we should have not lost this we were ahead so many times and uh, in the end we lost 4-5 but goals from Julian or Julian Ruba and Van Herk uh, that was pretty good uh, but conceding five goals it's not good enough it would be nice I think a draw a point out of that would have been would have been really cool then away against Lierz, um this was a bit of a mess we lost 1-0 early goal they had a they had a player sent off we had a player sent off but we to be fair we were not we weren't in this. They Leos have had a good season, and we we didn't uh, we didn't look like we were competing. The game against Union was one I was hoping that we would compete in, and we did. Van Herk and Ruba uh, getting the goals. You can see some of these new people who've come in are really contributing to the, the squad. So that's pretty cool. And then we've just played Anderlecht, lost three 0 yeah, what can I say? We we didn't deserve much out of it, but we are having a little bit of an injury problems. You can see here we've got the uh, Wapatale, Kare, and uh, Julian all out. We've had a few more out as well in those uh, in that in that area. So uh, we are going to have to put a little bit of a makeshift side out. Otto's not fully fit, um, so we're going to sort that out, and uh, we'll come back and hopefully play a bit of football. So this is where we are in the league, which I forgot to show. And you can see we are currently in 15th. We are six points ahead of um, the team in 17th and Vaslan Beveren are the team directly behind us. So this is a game that we do, it would be kind of cool to get a victory over uh, over them. Uh, it would put us, I think, in a good uh, good place to keep our, our place within this in this league. And with that money behind us for next season, is there a chance that we could um, kind of push on a little bit? Um, I'm hoping so. Right then, team we're going with. We've got Van Herk up top. We are going to be playing with Demo on the left side, Aruba and Kullman. That's going to be our attacking three, which is not quite the three that I would like, but we've got injuries and stuff to deal with. Uh, the likes of Wapatale looks absolutely shattered. Uh, and Gerard, mm, Gerard, yeah, we'll put Gerard on there. 
I don't know. That's we'll go with that. Van Dam is going to be playing alongside Robert um, again. Van Dam playing because Jack Watts he's not been playing that well. We're going to give Van Dam a shot in there. He's um, he's I mean he's a good player and we want to keep him happy. And then back line we've got Jewel, Giostathis, Jans, and Mayenga. Uh, with Fernandez is still in goal. Fernandez is an area, and let me know in the comments what you think. But I, for he is an area that I I think we need to upgrade. That goalkeeper is a little bit of a liability. Right then, we've got Rubois, and uh, yeah, he's the only one in the side uh, that you'll get to see. But uh, hopefully, he has a good game and maybe even gets on that score sheet. Let's go and get. Let's go and do it. Right here we go. We've gone for the sort of avenge last times lost team talk where we played I think played really well against Vaslan Beveren and didn't come away with the victory this time we need to uh, need to do better we need to do better in front of goal still kind of figuring out the uh, the our goal scorers uh, that's something that needs to sort out Circle of Bruges and um, Uped are all playing away from home so potentially this could go our way I'm on cautious I don't really want to be on cautious they've started well though Right, corner to them. Ozan Siglingli. I don't know who that is. That's a really hard one to say. Mulan. Go on, get the tackle. Get the tackle. We've not really started very well. And that's a poor ball over the top. And that's in. Is it offside? No, it isn't. <laughs> Mulan getting the goal. It's, um, again, a, a poor bit of defending. You shouldn't be beaten with a ball over the top like that. We'll just have another look at this. He's uh, Mulan plays it back. And uh, what happens here... It comes in on this right side. No one, no one watching him. Uh, I don't know who should probably have got that. Should uh, one of the centre backs perhaps should have been a, a little bit more um, on it. Right, demand more. We need a little bit better than this. Another corner from. We've not seen a highlight yet. Oh wow, it's it's gone wide. Didn't see what happened there, but we we got away with that one and. Um, yeah, we need to, uh, we need to start playing. We have seen Circular Bridge are one nil down, so that's that's good. And Upen as well. Let's get let's not lose this game, at least. Well, it's half time. It it's not been particularly great. Um, I think one nil is about the deserved score line. We're gonna have to make some changes, I think. So I'll do that, and then we'll come back and have a chat about what we have done. Right, here we go. We've gone more attacking. We're trying to play a bit wider, um, focusing the play down the wings a little bit more. Um, hopefully that's going to create a few more chances for Van Herk. Also gone shoot on sight as well, so maybe we'll get a lucky shot from distance that fires in the back of the net. Oh, finally, it looks like a highlight for us. Coleman. It comes in. It's Van Dam. Hubble Jans. It looks like we're, we're sort of a little bit lacking in ideas here, but it's nicely done. Van Dam, ball through to Coleman. Is there a chance just to beat the? No, it isn't. And we've uh, we've picked the ball back up, so it's not too bad at the minute. Mayenga down the right side into Coleman. He's going to be able to get the ball in. Into Robert, ball in. It's Van Hook. Is that offside? <laughs> it's offside. Of course it is. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it, it will be offside, um, but <laughs> uh, it's just irritating. That is, um, I I don't think he's offside. <laughs> yeah, he he was behind the defender, so I don't see how that works. Van Herk, ball in. They've cleared it out, but it comes to us, Robert. Mayenga, are you going to try a ball over the top? You have. Oh, they've saved it that time. But finally, we look a little bit more on it. Rubar looks absolutely shattered now. So we'll make that change. Probably Gerard is coming on. Or maybe... I mean, yeah, he's not doing well either. We'll bring Gerard on in that position. Van Herk should have scored a goal there. Absolutely. Well, we're going to see the corner. Uh, Gerard is on. Can he score straight off this corner? Probably not, but uh, let's see what we do. Oh no, here he is. <laughs> so he's just positioned himself on the edge of the area. Ball in. 
and then straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Not good enough. Oh, we are looking. It's a real problem at the minute. We are absolutely on our feet for most uh, on on our feet, dead on our feet uh, in, in most of these matches. Really, really struggling for fitness. Come on, change the striker. Can Jolly make an impact? He's been pretty woeful this season. We just need a goal. Oh, 79 minutes on the clock. The defenders are, are shattered. I think we might have to make a change at the back. We'll bring on uh, Picard. Hopefully that gives us a, enough to go in. Come on. So we're going to push the line up a bit. And maybe get stuck in right at the end. Just try and win the ball up, back off them and then just launch it up field for Jolly. And that's it. 1-0 loss. Another disappointing result. Second half, much, much better than the first uh, for us. But, um, yeah, injuries and um, fitness uh, are the problems at the minute and are, are starting to tell. Thankfully, it looks like both of the, the teams below us uh, have um, lost. So another game ticked off. This was one I was hoping to move forward with and get a victory, but we did not beat Vaslan Beveren. Uh, which is a game we should definitely have been winning. So as you can see, they are on 23 points like us. Uh, but Circle Bruges, they got absolutely smashed, didn't they? Absolutely smashed. Jolly is 16 matches without a goal. Wow. Yeah, it hasn't worked, has it, with him? But... Um, yeah, so we're going to go forward. We've got a game, final game of the season, which is against Circle Bruges, which could be a really, really important one. Hopefully, we will be more than three points ahead of them by then, but um, maybe not, maybe not. Let's have a look at their end to the season, because that could be quite interesting. They've had a real torrid time recently. They have not picked up anything. They've got a home game against Lierce, uh, away... There's nothing too difficult oh, apart from the um, the Andalek game. Uh, Mechelen at home, there's something there for them. Zultvar, Gem away. There's, yeah, there's, there is stuff. They could they could get stuff here. And they are scoring goals. So, yeah, uh, conceding a lot, but they are scoring. Wow, look at these results. It's absolutely terrible. They beat Club Bruges, though. That's an interesting one. It's a great start to the year for them, but uh, really has absolutely... They've fallen to pieces. They really have. Um, and they're not even bottom. Anyway, folks, I hope you have enjoyed that. Come back for the... Uh, undoubtedly, it's going to be an important game. Bottom of the table. Um, sorry, 17th in the table. Circle of Rouge. It might, might mean an awful lot. <laughs> it might be all down to this as to whether we drop into that uh, relegation playoff or not so uh, yeah make sure you come back for it if you have enjoyed the series or and are enjoying it please hit the like button please subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in the next one goodbye